What's up everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we have another Godzilla Playmates review of Space Godzilla. So I was very hesitant to pick up this figure, but here's the thing, man. Space Godzilla is one of my favorite kaijus of the Godzilla franchise, and a lot of his figures are really expensive. I originally was going to look for the SH uh, Monster Arts, but that's a lot of money, and then I was trying to look for the, um, the movie Monster Series, which is going to be a bit more detailed than this one, but they still want a lot of money. So then I kind of bit the bullet, and this is 10 bucks. Is this a perfect figure? Um, for $10? It's not bad, I'll be honest with you. For $10, this is basically what I would expect. I mean, sometimes the Playmates, like like with their Gigan, their Gigan, I think, hit it out of the park. I think all the Godzilla vs. Kong figures hit it out of the park, but I guess, I don't know exactly, what do they call this, like uh, like their Godzilla Legends line or something, whatever. We're gonna call it like the Godzilla Legends uh, uh, line when they go through all the history of Godzilla. Um, these ones are a little bit of a hit or miss. Some are good, some are kind of like, yeah. But honestly, for the $10 price range, and I just want something in there, my collection to represent one of my favorite kaijus, which is Space Godzilla, this is a good option. I'm not mad at it. I'm excited to have Space Godzilla represented in my collection. So, the packaging is about the same as all the other ones we've seen on my channel, which is Gigan and Godzilla and Destroya, all three of those. Um, reviews are on the channel you can go to my godzilla playlist if you want to check out those other ones and i've also reviewed every single godzilla vs kong figure in the six inch scale on my channel once again go to my godzilla playlist um all the support i've been getting for the godzilla uh reviews i've done have been amazing and godzilla reviews are actually my favorite reviews i love reviewing monster figures so as long as you guys keep watching them, I will continue to make them because it just makes me happy that you guys are loving what I love to do. So, we're gonna open up Space Godzilla and we're gonna check him out. All right, now that we have Mr. Space Godzilla out of the packaging, uh, my first impressions of it, I do like it. My only downfall of the figure that I just don't really like is the teeth. As you can see, the teeth just kind of look like a white bar. I'm not really keen on that, but Again, for a $10 figure, does it bother me that much? No. If this was like in a SH Monster Arts or something like, or like a, even a movie Monsters, which is more of the $20 price range, if it was like that, yeah, I'd be a little bit more bummed out. But for 10 bucks, no, I, I really don't care. It's not, it's not something that's gonna make or break. The fact that I have a, a Space Godzilla represented in my collection is really what's important to me. Um, I'm not upset about that at all. So, like outside of the teeth, that's my one flaw. And but other than that, I do kind of like the paint apps. I like the like the shiny red here. I like the uh, the purplish gray going up his uh, his crystals. You know, there is a lot to like. And like I said, if you cannot get a Space Godzilla in your collection for a reasonable price, you know, this is a good option. And I think like a lot. That's what I kind of like about like the Playmates line. And that's what I loved about the NECA line. I see it in almost every Godzilla video that the NECA uh, Godzilla uh, line was my favorite toy line probably ever because they gave us the detail of an SH Monster Arts but the price of an afford for, afford um, for the affordability of collectors. Um, Playmates does it a little bit different. Now you're gonna take a step back on detail, but they're giving you a good price point that if you want characters that you love, but you just don't wanna spend the hundreds or $50, $80 price range, these are good. These are good options, you know what I mean? Like, because of Playmates, I have a Space Godzilla. I have a Destroya. I have a Gigan. You know, I have a, a Kong from Godzilla Kong. I have Mecha Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Kong. So those are really cool to me. As a, collect as a collector, I like having representation of characters I love in my collection. So to be able to add Space Godzilla in my collection is very important to me. So articulation-wise, he is head they're in side to side. His arms, they're hindered, but they would move, um, but they move a tiny bit, but they're hindered by the crystal. Um, his legs, they move up and back. Um, he's got articulation in the ankle. His tail actually does not move there, and his tail moves here. So he's got a little bit of articulation, but just like classic Bandai's, they're not really known for their articulation. They're just vinyl figures. And that's what these are. These are like, these are more of like a harder plastic than a vinyl, but that's all they are, but they do a good job. They represent the character well. Um, people will go in and look at your, at your shelf and like, oh, Space Godzilla. You know, they might think like, man, Space Godzilla has really weird teeth. But other than that, I, again, I don't think that this is a bad figure at all. And I'm happy to have a Space Godzilla in my collection. So how does he look next to the NECA Space Godzilla figure? 
and I think they look cool. I'll be honest with you. They don't look bad. I think it actually, they resemble, I mean, obviously this is way more detailed, but like facial wise, they resemble each other well. You can see that these guys were from the same DNA as they were in the film, um, you know, and I, I, they look good. So it's nice to have a, a obviously again, higher level of detail, lower level of detail, but that's okay. But you get to see um, Godzilla from uh, Godzilla, uh, space, Godzilla versus Space Godzilla against Space Godzilla. So to me, that's what's cool. I, I can now have, because by at the time, this was the only guy I represented my collection. But now I actually have Space Godzilla to represent that film too. So now I have both of the figures. They look really well together. Um, I'm very happy with the purchase I made of the Godzilla, uh, the Space Godzilla from the Godzilla versus Space Godzilla film. So guys, I hope you liked this video. Comment down below to let me know what you think of the Playmates Space Godzilla. Do you like it? Do the teeth bother you? Or are you kind of like me and it's like, no, I'm just happy to have them in my collection to represent a character I love that much. And if you guys like this video, always, you know, give it a like and share it if you can. And also subscribe. I've been having a lot of good um, luck with uh, subscribers lately. It's been really nice to watch my channel grow ever since I made the Mecha Godzilla video my channel has grown quite significantly and it's, and it's nice and I, I really appreciate it and I want to keep giving you guys more Godzilla videos it seems like you guys are into it and like I said I my favorite videos to do are the Godzilla videos I think they're the funnest I love collecting monsters um, so if you guys keep liking these videos I will continue to keep doing them um, is there any other Godzilla figure that you see that um, you would want me to review uh, maybe from the Playmates line um, NECA line uh, movie monster series. Obviously, I like to. I'm more of an affordable collector. I'm not a guy who likes to go out and just buy um, the hundred dollar price range. What I can tell you is, I do have the Godzilla versus Kong, Godzilla and um, Kong uh, SH Monster Arts figure pre-ordered. So eventually, when they come in, I will review them. Um, and I'm also going to track down the new um, Godzilla from the Godzilla vs. Kong Playmates line of the, uh, what are they called, the Supercharged Godzilla. So as soon as that comes available, I will buy him and review him. But is there any other figure you guys would like to see reviewed? Comment down below, let me know. I am more of a six inch uh, collector. Um, so I know a lot of people have been asking for the um, the giant size figures. Um, if I do ever, ever end up finding them in stores and not paying scalper prices, I will pick them up and review them for you. But um, until I can find them in stores, I'm, I'm, I don't want to pay scalper prices for figures I don't really collect that often, but I will gladly do it for you guys if I find them in stores. So guys, I'll check you guys in the next video. Talk to you again real soon.